So we have just a few minutes left here in the show because you know how time flies when you're having as much fun as we are. So I want to thank our wonderful guests who called in. That's Ken Shapiro from the Jennings Institute and Gabriela Soto from the Greater Los Angeles Community Coalition. Also want to thank our awesome engineer and board operator, Mr. Christopher Kay, for keeping this train running smoothly. Jess? Sorry, got something in my throat. You take us out. Okay, uh, well, that's a wrap, boys and girls. Thank you for tuning in to tonight's edition of Grassroots Forum. We've been your hosts, Philip Holly and Jessica Cavendish, and we will see you tomorrow night. Until then, be well and stay connected. It's yours. Sure thing. Hey, what happened there? What? The end of the show. My throat. You sure? Because it sounded like... Like maybe I just wasn't feeling it? Well, now that you say it... And what if I wasn't? Uh, well, that's okay. Uh, it's only been a couple of days. You're still trying to lock into the show's rhythm. I don't think the producers expect you to... Ten days. What? I started ten days ago. It's been almost two weeks. Oh, right. Well, like I said in the show... Oh, you mean the cliche about how time flies because of all the fun we're having? Right. Are you? What? Having fun. Sure. It's what I do. I love it. Don't you? Absolutely. Good. I love radio. Great. That's why I'm quitting. Great. Wait, what? I'm quitting the show as of tonight. Why? You keep correcting me. I do? During the Soto interview, I mentioned Neo Cafe's advertisement in Echo Park's local paper. You respond with a comment calling it an advertisement. Well, that's the more commonly used pronunciation. Or like when I called out the city council for its mischievous backroom dealings, and you parroted back my comment with another implied correction, calling it mischievous. We pronounce things differently. But do you have to point it out every show? It's not every show. Monday, it was your finance to my finance. Tuesday, it was your address to my address. Wednesday, it was your harassment to my- Okay, I got it. I didn't realize. Nor did you realize your tone always seemed to imply that you were right and I was wrong. On two occasions, you corrected my grammar. And several times, you questioned the validity of my opinion in front of a guest. Do you know how that made me feel? Probably not good. Try embarrassed? Frustrated? Totally PO'd? That's what I meant to say. So why did you do it? I don't know. Maybe it's because I got all A's in English, and I'm just a stickler for old school syntax. Sorry, that's not good enough. Because like you, I love what I do. And it's not worth compromising by being somewhere I'm not being respected. Jessica, wait. Be well, Phil. I'm jealous. The way you are with guests. The way you get them to open up if they're being too reserved. Or the way you get them to laugh if the conversation's getting too emotionally heavy. I can't do that. I mean, I can do my research and show them how prepared I am. But I don't have that ease like you. Compared to you, I am sorely lacking in that department. And I guess I couldn't deal with that. So I tried to act like I was smarter than you. And you didn't deserve that. I'm sorry. Thank you. That means a lot. So does that mean you'll... Oh, I'm still quitting. You need chemistry with your co-host, like you used to have on your old show with Susan. I'm just not the right fit. But now I know when I go, I can wish you well and really mean it. Be well, Phil. You too, Jess.